Michaela, I believe we are ready. So let's have our second lightning talk. Give it up for Michaela. Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, today, I want to share with you the first steps that you can take uh, when uh, you want to start to develop a web server. I have a small confession to do to you. It's my first talk outside my company, and it's a lightning talk, and we're going to have live coding. So you should feel a little bit the pressure uh, of my talk. Thank you. By the way, we are going to use the standard library only for this uh, example. So let's jump to the editor and see what happens. So I already prepared some code in the interest of time. But uh, you know, when you start uh, developing a web server, the first thing that you do is to start the server. And for this, we are going to call the listen and serve method from the HTTP package. Uh, we are going to listen on localhost 8080, and we are going to use nil as second parameter so that we can leverage the default uh, serve max implementation provided by the standard library. Then we just need to register some handles. Uh, we use the handle, pack, uh, the handle function of the HTTP package to define an hello world handler. So we are going to listen on uh, hello path, and we are going to define uh, structure which is an empty one, and that is going to implement the serve HTTP function. And that's it. It's just a simple hello world that we can run. Okay. localhost 8080. Hello. What? No, curl, maybe. And hello world. So we start. <laughs> That was very simple, wasn't it? Let's make it a little bit more complicated. Let's have, instead of a default hello world, let's, do, let's, ac let's accept a request from uh, the HTTP client that is going to uh, take a name field from a JSON uh, object, and uh, it will print uh, the name that is contained in this uh, request. If not, we default to the world as before. So. Let's start by checking that everything is all right on the request side. So if it's not, we send an error thanks to the error function of the HTTP package. And we can also use the HTTP package to uh, refer to status codes, which is useful because we don't have to remember the status codes by heart. Then we close the body because it's a read closer and we don't want to leak it. And we start reading it. In this case, we are going to use the read all uh, function of the IO package, which is going to take the content of uh, the body from the request and uh, place it, write it into a byte slice. And since read all is uh, returning an error, again, we check it. Then, if everything goes right, since uh, it's, uh, uh, we are expecting a JSON object in the request, we are going to uh, call the unmarshal function from the JSON package. This is going to allow us to translate this byte slice into a JSON, uh, uh, into a Go structure that uh, we are going to define here, which is going to have simply a name field of type string and is going to be mapped into a name uh, field inside the JSON object. So as you see, we are using a lot the HTTP package, but we still also use other packages from the standard library. And we, can, and we are achieving a lot of stuff with it. I mean, simple, but progressing. Again, since the Marshall function is uh, returning an error, we check it. And uh, once we are good, we can store it, uh, the name field into a variable. If it's empty, if it's that zero value, we default to word. Otherwise, we greet whoever is uh, calling us. Before uh, testing this, we are going to add a very small thing. We are going to add a middleware. A middleware, in our case, is uh, a function that uh, takes an in input an handler and returns an handler in output. It's sort of a wrapper function. So again, we are going to make use of the HTTP package. In this case, we are going to uh, invoke the type handler func, which is implementing the handler, func the handler interface, which is a type of function that accepts a request and a response writer. And we are going to do two things. The first one is to log that we received uh, something, a request, so that the server, from the server we can see that something is happening. And then we are going to execute the handler itself, otherwise it gets lost. So we are going just to uh, wrap this handler into our newly created middleware and test again. So 
the first thing we do, we're going to do it with an empty oh, hello world, the default. If we put a name like gophers, hello gophers. So here we are. We have started, <laughs> thank you. We have started from uh, a simple uh, web server with an hello world uh, handler, and we, incre and we improved a little bit on it by using the request, and this only by using the standard library. Let's go back to the presentation and take some conclusions out of it. So the first message that I want to share with you is that when you start a new project or you want to learn something, you should consider uh, using the standard library. It's simple yet powerful. It has a lot of functionality that you can check in uh, the documentation. In our case, we started, uh, we used a lot of the HTTP package because it suited us. But for you, you can browse the packages list, check what they have inside and find what you need for your purposes. Then, once you start to get uh, into complex situations or complex use cases where the standard library is more difficult to use, then you can go look uh, for external libraries that are built specifically for your use case. And uh, that's my message. So thank you very much for listening and uh, give uh, the standard library a go. Thank you very much. <laughs>